Hello and welcome to my review of the Doctor Who Time of the Victorious audio adventure, The Enemy of My Enemy. Now be warned, there may be minor spoilers ahead, but I will attempt to steer clear of them. But without further ado, let's get right into the review. Starting with a brief synopsis of the plot, it picks up right where he kills me, he kills me not left off. The Daleks have captured the Doctor, and he believes he's going to be exterminated. That is, until the Prime Strategist shows up and puts a stop to it as the Daleks need his help. They go to the planet Rax, which the Doctor immediately notices that the planet is off, and time has changed around this one as well. It's a nice tie into the previous story. But the Daleks themselves come here pretending to be a peace-loving race, attempting to make negotiations with the Raxians. But it turns out they're not the only ones lying. Personally, I really like that they've continued the anomaly plot, as it confirms that the Doctor isn't going crazy, and the Daleks see this as well. It lets the Doctor be in agreement with a race that he never thought he'd see eye to eye with. Well, eye to eye stalk. Now onto the characters, starting with the Eighth Doctor. Yet again, Paul McGann shows that he is loving every single scene. He soaks up all of the dialogue and just throws it back out perfectly. Especially whenever he's talking to a Dalek, as you can feel the hatred in his voice, even if it is subtle. The other main characters are the Daleks. The four most important ones are the strategist, scientist, executioner, and time commander, each having their own unique voice so you can differentiate between them all when the scenes where multiple are in them. The strategist is patient and logical, which is very cleverly shown to us by Nicholas Briggs with his very slow and creepy voice. The scientist sounds just like the new paradigm version, giving us a nice recognizable connection. The executioner is full of rage and hatred, which is cleverly shown to us through his fast paced and screaming voice. The Time Commander has a nice deep voice, which shows us his position and high status in the Restoration Empire, just like the Emperor and very similar Supreme Daleks. The Daleks in this story aren't just voices, they each have very individual and intricate characters, and even though there are many of them, they're balanced quite well. Overall, I really enjoyed it. Paul McGann is giving it his all as per usual, the Daleks are spectacular and each have individual personalities. And I think it sets up the Eighth Doctor's role in All Flesh's Grass perfectly as a brilliant bridge to the next story. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video as much as I did making it, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my YouTube channel down below. I'll leave any links in the description and I plan to do All Flesh's Grass next, so stay on the lookout. Thanks for watching.